Hello brothers, sisters and friends, welcome to another Coffee Moments with the Father. Uh, I was watching the gymnastic, um, you know, in the Tokyo Olympic. And uh, while I was watching it, I was a little bit surprised. I heard the announcer said of one particular gymnast that she has been in participating in the Olympics for eight times. My wife and I, we were like eight times in the Olympics. And we started to calculate and then say, wow, eight. Every year, four. Four, eight is 32. Are we sure that there's such a gymnast? She must be pretty old. Most gymnasts quit. They reach their prime when they are in their 20s, early 20s, and then they resign because they are no longer at their peak. But this particular gymnast, Oksana Chusovitina, 46 years old, but participated the Tokyo Olympic for the eighth time. And I saw her performance. It was really awesome. Now, she did not win anything. She did not even qualify for the finals. But at the end, when she finished her race, she waved to everybody she, about her retirement. The whole crowd, no spectators, just all the, the players itself, the gymnasts, they all stood up in standing ovation for her. Oksana, after making 30 years of Olympic debut, Face many rivals, younger than her son. Oksana said a tearful farewell to gymnastic on day two at the Tokyo Games. And she said, I can stand my on my own. I'm very happy that I've done this for so many years. Oksana has won many, many gold medals in World Championship and Olympics. And she has represented over three different countries, Soviet Union, Germany and right now her own country, Uzbekistan. What I was so impressed about this lady is that she has so much perseverance, passion and endurance for her game. That reminds me of a verse in Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and every sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinners, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. Just like Oksana, she didn't grow weary. 46 years old, went through so many trials, difficulties, challenges, represent three different countries because of all the political uh, problems in those countries. Probably had many, many uh, you know, injuries in, on her body, but she persevered. She was truly a hero in the gymnastic world, an Olympian, heart to heart. And the same way, the Bible says we too need to have that kind of heart. Persevere. Don't give up. Be passionate. Just like Jesus, endure our race so that we can hold on to the dream to go to heaven and hold on to the dream to really impact our world for Jesus. Therefore, brothers and sisters, we are surrounded by a great crowd of witnesses. Angels, saints from the heavens and our brothers and sisters in the church. Let's throw off everything that hinders. Run that race to win for Christ. Thank you, brothers and sisters. I hope that helped you to really be uh, able to pursue your dreams with endurance in your walk with God. Thank you very much. I'll see you again.